What's up with it? It's the boss of the bay, Diggs. And I'm sitting in right now with Thizzler.com. Y'all stay tuned. Stop telling. <laughs> but you know now, for you know that was the, that was a sensitive subject for me, man, because that was so close to home. You know what I mean? Like it was, um, it was one of them situations where everybody close around me got nabbed up. You know what I mean? Uncle Miami, of course, Doobie, like you said, Doobie. My manager, Lil Dre from the Bay. My close homeboy, Big Dot. You feel me? So and and and, and truthfully, they wanted me, but. But see, anybody know me know that pills was never my game. That's not what I did. So, ha. But anyway, so they they want they wanted our whole team. You know, basically, and, and just to make a long story short, you know, it, it's kind of like a slap in the face to to them. And when I say them, I mean the federal government. It, it's kind of slap in the face to them that they spent all that time and that money uh, knocking our crew off. You feel me? That was a big moment to them. You know, we we went through everything from from America's Most Wanted to Unsolved Mysteries. You know, we went through all the shit and they finally figured, felt like they had us and sent us to jail and laughed at us and everything. And then we came right back. And not only did we come back, we came back and we captured this whole area that they called they self-protecting from against us. You feel me? So they was like, oh my God, these motherfuckers is back. And not only is they back, they the hottest shit moving. So that was a slap in, the, in they face. You know, they was like, what the fuck is this Mac Dre shit, this romp room shit? We thought we eliminated this. And here they are now, they on every magazine, every, you know what I mean? So the very next chance they can get to, to, to get on us about anything, every chance they got, that's what they did. You know, they, 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 they would take the smallest thing and they would blow it up into a, a big issue. But at the end of the day, um, it's like anything else when you, when it comes to dealing with, 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 with feds and, and sting operations and shit like that. None of that shit worked without informants. And, and just in case anybody was wondering, we definitely had an informant, an in-house informant. And since ain't nobody else said it, I'm going to say it, PSD. The driver, <laughs> he was definitely a snitch in the, in the operation that helped take down Thiz Entertainment, you feel me? And, and, and it's kind of fucked up because he was like a brother to us, you feel me? And But at the end of the day, anybody know me, like that shit don't mean nothing to me. I, I, I don't care about none of that. If you, if you play in these streets and you call yourself living by these streets, well, you got to play by the rules like anything else. And the rules say, if you get snitch, if you get to snitching and shit like that, well, you get carried like one. So, you know, it is what it is. And I, I just keep it 100, you know what I mean? So one of our own, which is embarrassing for me to say, but it's the truth, one of our own couldn't hold his water and flipped on the rest of the crew. You know what I mean? So that was, you know, it's a whole course, it's a lot more to the story, but that's one of the, that's one of the, the things that fans is most interested in. They really want to know the truth, you know? And then, you know, because it could be so many rumors about who told this, oh, so-and-so told, or oh, I heard so-and-so told. Well, Diggs ain't never told on no man in his life, just in case anybody wondering. So all that old extra shit y'all be hearing and be talking about, let's not get that twisted. And any man that know me know and can vouch for anything I say when it comes to this shit. I hate snitches. I hate rats with a passion. I was sent to prison for 10 years behind a rat. So I really don't got no understanding for him. You feel me? It's, it's just it is what it is. And it, and it don't matter if it's somebody from over there or if it's somebody next to me. If a dude next to me telling another man, well, that's, that's just what it is. I'm going to cut him off. Like, get away from me. Like, that's just that's just not what I do where I'm from. So, yeah, so that was a, an unfortunate situation for my crew. But everybody bouncing back right now, which is a good thing. So So that's a blessing. You know what I mean? I want to welcome home my Cuddy Doobie. Welcome home, welcome home, Big Dot. Welcome home, Lil Dre from the Bay. Welcome home, Narc, Narcotics. You know what I mean? So dudes is coming home from it, but you know, they did have to go through some things. Dre disappeared. It's like we we looking for Dre you now. It's like. The whole thing is, where's Dre? All the cutties, we like, where's Dre? So for a whole day, we running around, we looking for Dre, we calling. He don't, he, he, Dre didn't like cell phones, so he never used to keep a cell phone on him. 
So we looking for Dre a whole day go by. It's the next morning now. We still ain't seen Dre. So now we going to meet up downstairs by the hotel so we can start our search party for Dre again. So when we get downstairs by the hotel, we hear some girls screaming, hey, over here. We look up, it's Dre on a balcony with like five bitches. What the fuck? Everybody looking up like, what the? You know what I mean? He, he got his hat flipped up, shirt off, Hennessy in his hands early in the morning, a bottle of Hennessy in his hand. Like, what the fuck? We like, we've been looking for you. We go upstairs. It's a whole rock star scene in the room. I'm like, what the? He like, man, it's a wild night, Cuddy. I'm like, man, what the fuck? He just cut out on us and just disappeared. So, you know, and, 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 and the moral of that story was this, was this was new to me for the way we rocked, you know what I mean? And that's when I was like, wow, Dre on some other shit now. He really a rock star right now. Like, he was really a rock star. He was in a room with a bunch of bitches. They was off pills. He was on his thing. He was just in his mode. And I was like, wow, Cuddy is a rock star. He really just living the life. And that was, for me, it was fresh out of prison, so it was the first time I got to see this. And, and, and Dre was e e evasive like that. That's how he was. Like, he'll, we'll all be in a room right now, and he'll just get up and just phew, disappear and be like, man, where, where, where did he go? And like I say, he didn't like phones. He, he, he'd have a cell phone, but he wouldn't take it nowhere with him. He'd never have a cell phone. It would be times that uh, we have a show. Like tonight, I got a show. We, you know, Kilo might say, well, damn, cut you know, we got a show tonight. Dre got a show tonight. Be like, well, where's Dre? Like, you didn't talk to him? Ain't nobody talked to him. We, we call, it's going straight to voicemail. We used to actually have to jump in the car and, and, and ride to Sacramento and, and go by different bitches' houses, different Cuddy's houses, looking for Dre. Like, you seen Dre? We got a show tonight. We don't even know if Dre, you know, because Dre used to be on his own hype. Like, you know, he never missed a show like that. Like, and he didn't miss the show, but he was, he was on his music shit, but at the end of the day, he was, you know, music Music was his, his love and his passion, but he would be on, on his Mac Dre game, and he'd be, we'd pop up, be like, Cuddy, you got a show? He'd be like, oh, tonight? <sighs> oh, I forgot all about it. It'd be something big. He, he don't even be tripping. So, yeah, Dre, had, he had his own ways, man. He was definitely a special dude, man. He was a different individual. I didn't run into Mac Minister. I ran to a bunch of people that was with Mac Minister while we was up there. So, you know, from what I understand, he's doing okay. You know, he had a few situations he went through, but for the most part, he's doing pretty good. But I was with his co-defendant, which was a very, very good friend of mine, too, Jace Coleon. And um, they got the same amount of time. They both got four life sentences. So, you know, I, was, he, I will say he's doing as well as a person with four life sentences could be doing. You know what I mean? So, um, but I was with Jace. Uh, good spirits, Jason, the hella good spirits. We spent the last year together at High Desert and, and um, in Nevada, High Desert State Pen. So that was that was that was that was that was a, a good look for me and him to get some time together. You know, I did everything I could do for him. You know, looked out for him in the best ways possible. Uh, but Minister was on a uh, was on a whole nother compound. He wasn't on the same compound with me, so I didn't get to personally see him. You know, but I heard that he was doing pretty good. He, he you know, and they both fighting. Right now, they both fighting for their lives back, you know. Uh, um, God willing, they, you know, they got a second chance at life. It was four life senses, you know, that shit's just, it ain't, you know, what the fuck can you tell somebody they got that, that kind of time? So, but like I said, my dude in good spirits, though. Know? So shout out Jace Coleon, free Jace, free Mac Minister, you know. Uh, it's, it, it's dope. It's super dope, and I get rewind, get reminded of it all the time. You know, it, it, people pay homage all the time. You know what I mean? The movement was special, was at a special time. You know what I mean? So, and, and to see the, the 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 Young Bay movement now, you know, the, and the growth of it right now is is, is 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 it makes it even all that much more worth it. You know, everything we did. So, it, cause it's crazy, cause now it's like our kids is in the game now. You know what I mean? Our kids is they making the music and and they acting and. And they, they producing and they managing, you know what I mean? So it's like, wow, you know what I mean? We really started a, a nice pipeline with, with this independent shit. And, and, you know, a lot of people don't know that the, the Bay Area, like we one of the few places in America 
that even got this kind of pipeline with music. You feel me what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, you know, they 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 only pipeline is YouTube or SoundCloud. You know what I mean? They don't really have the uh the 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 the, the, the stream that we have as far as putting out music and our, the movement that we have and our own personal fan base, you know, you know, nowadays everybody just trying to put out a hit and and just blow, you know what I mean? That's the new thing now. I'm just gonna find me a single and hopefully I'll be on. And, and you know, that's good at, to an extent, but at, at a, a lot of times, you know, you know, you blow up too fast and then, you know, your buzz be over with. You, you, you never hear these artists anymore. You know, it'd be gone. It'd be just like, it's like a sports career. You know, some people come into the league and, and they, got, they got years under them, you know what I mean? And they, and they play for years and they, you know, they might bounce around a few different teams, but they get their years in. And then there's some dudes coming to the league and you see them one or two years and they disappear like, damn, whatever happened to so-and-so? You know what I mean? And, 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 and that's what happens with this, with this music game. It's the same, it's the same difference. But um, so, so with this Bay Area movement, you know, we, we fortunate enough that we, we can get us a solid foundation and build a fan base and, and we tap into these little cities where they're not going to see these big artists at and we go through these cities and we build these relationships with these little cities and, and, and they love us you know we we they Jay-Z's and we they Snoop Dogg's you know, feel me because they can't see them and we we build them pipelines so so that's why our music and our movement this Bay Area shit is the way it is man because we really touch homes that don't get touched by a lot of, of some of these mainstream artists so we you know this is this is a fortunate program to even be a part of in, in, in this music industry this bass shit man so you know i love it I, I i love it i love being part of it i love being a pioneer of some of the things that's going on in it like it's, it's, it's this is this is what i do you know this is this is what i raise my kids to this is what they know and this is probably what they'll pass on to their kids this is this is our movement man this is the bay area music movement man it, it, it don't get no better than this for me you know this is this is what i grew up on and that's what i'm a part of and when i get memory and when i get my memory days this is what they'll remember me for you know what i mean so this is this is, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing I mean, that's what it's supposed to be, and that's that's you know that's that that just means we did our job. You know what I mean? We 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 motivated our youngsters, and that's what we did. And that's what that's what that's one of the things about coming from a neighborhood and and, and being successful from a neighborhood. And that's one of the things it does. It motivates the younger dudes from your neighborhood when they see you. They say, "Oh, dude, from where I'm from," and he did that shit. We can do that shit too. So everybody from my neighborhood. You know that's what they that's what they know. You know they go they could tell you their name every rapper from. We got dozens of rappers from our neighborhood that are, are actual rappers that you can go on iTunes and buy their music, go to YouTube and find their videos and and you, you know what I mean. So we got we we got a, a string of, of actual artists that have paved the way for the younger generation to say, hey, I can do this too. And that goes all the way, you know, it's every neighborhood in the country, you know, when a, somebody in sports make it from a certain neighborhood and so forth, that, that, that motivates the, you know, the, 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 the younger generation. So that, that means we did a good job at what we, you know what I mean? We, we, when we started this, we started this movement back in the 80s, we did what we were supposed to do. You know what I mean? We, we passed the ball, that's what it's all about. You know, you get in the game, you feel me? You do what you gotta do, and you hand the rock off to the next generation. Right now, the rock been handed to SOB, my little cousin, Slimmy B. You know what I mean? That's my family. So I, I, I love how they pushing right now, and, and that's a great look for where I'm from. You know what I mean? It's a bunch of talent. We got a bunch of little cutties that's, 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 that's up next, you know, that they just waiting to get to the plate. So that, that, I just really, like I said, I just really mean that, that we did our job. And, and, and we passed it on like it was supposed to be passed on. And that's what it's gonna continue to do, you know? That's how the game go, you pass it to the next. Oh, we got, we got, we got, we got a little, little, little K-N-O mob from the crest. You know what I mean? Them, some of my little partners, this, 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 they hot right now. You know, they, they all, they all rock out, out our, our little movement. Um, I'm a little partner, Smack. Uh, Smack, Smack, uh, Smack is an incredible artist. He he did one project that, that, that a lot of people might know of with Burner. Uh, he was the uh, what was that project called? The Black Farmer, 
or something like that. But he was super dope. He's another another little hot artist, you know what I mean? That's 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 in line. That's been you know doing his music and, and, and really really pushing for it. But we got we got so many we got so many groups and so much talent from where I'm from, man. It's it's, it's just a it's it's a list of, uh, of just up and coming youngsters is ready to go. Even down to my kids, you know what I mean. I got my kids in the music. They got they, some people probably remember a video they had a few years back. It was Jordans in my backpack when they were smaller. But now they they getting older now. They acting. You know, two of my kids they acting now. They in movies and 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 doing other things like that. So it's it's just like you know, like I say, that's 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 us breeding the next generation into the game and and opening doors that you know that's not always open for everybody. So when you get in a position like that, that's what you want to do. You want you want to you want to say that hey, look, you know, I passed the ball to 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 the little homies, and now they got it. Now the door is open for them. Now they eating, they feeding, they family. You know, they they doing what they supposed to do. You know, and and that's that's important. You know, I got some artists that I'm working with. I, I, my little camp that's that's super dope right now. That I'm you know I got some R and B singers. My my dude Fat Black, he's an R and B artist. He up here with me today. He's super dope. Um, I got I got uh, my dude Aaron King. Aaron King, he's another R and he on a few of my uh few of my uh my latest projects that I put out right before I came in. I got the California Living Three album. We had some bangers on there. He's super dope. I'm gonna do a young global. He rocking. So I'm you know I'm 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 really pushing. I'm really pushing this movement. I got a I got a movement coming out right now. It's called Thea's Island, and it's it's basically it's my oozes. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 I got the island movement right now, you know what I mean? So so I'm pushing that right now, you know, especially with dealing, you know, over in Hawaii and all the shit. So I got my, my my partners, shout out my dude Oni, the one and only. You feel me? He gonna be one of the first dudes up out of the Thea's Island camp. But yeah, so it's, it's you know, like I say, it's it's about, you know, getting to a, to a situation where you can pass off the ball and, and I'm at that situation now, so I can I can pass the rock to certain artists that, that, that deserve that spot. You feel me? And hopefully they can take it to the next level. You know what I mean? It's just like anything else. It's like like your parents always say, "I want you to be better than what I was." So if you know if they do that, if they take the game and they soak the game from you and they they run off with it, then they did their job and you did your job too. So that's 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 the good thing about it.